Why do Russian jets smoke so much compared to American counterparts? If you've ever watched a Russian fighter jet take off, a MiG-29, a Su-27, or even the newer Su-35, you've probably noticed something unmistakable. Thick gray exhaust pouring out behind it, trailing long after it left the runway. Meanwhile, American or European fighters like the F-16 or Typhoon streak through the sky almost cleanly, with barely a shimmer in their wake. During the Cold War, Soviet aircraft designers faced a unique problem. Their fighters had to operate from rough airfields, in extreme weather, and often without perfect maintenance conditions. Engines had to be simple, rugged, and above all, powerful. To achieve that, Soviet engineers used older combustion chamber designs that prioritized thrust over fuel efficiency. Incomplete combustion meant more unburned fuel particles exiting the exhaust, and that's what causes smoke. In simple terms, Russian engines burn rich, more fuel than air, especially at low altitudes or when spooling up for takeoff. That fuel doesn't fully ignite inside the turbine, so it burns in the exhaust plume, creating that thick, visible trail. It's not a design flaw, it's a conscious choice. In contrast, Western jet engines like the Pratt and Whitney F-100 or General Electric F-110 evolved with a different philosophy, clean burn, efficiency, and stealth. By the 1980s, the US was already designing engines that left minimal smoke to reduce visual detection, an important factor in air combat and stealth operations. Western afterburners also mix fuel and air more completely, giving a hot, bright flame, but very little soot. The result? Cleaner exhaust, better fuel economy, and less chance of giving away your position in a dogfight. Does smoke give you away in combat? Yes, especially at close range. But in long-range missile warfare dominated by radar and infrared sensors, exhaust visibility is less of a problem than it once was. 